As a Christian, there can be potential social media pitfalls as it relates to our marriage relationship. One that we should be aware of, I've already mentioned, it's distractions. The other is the bunny trails that we can go down that we lose track of time and we start innocently engaging and viewing things that could be suggestive, could be unhelpful. And you have to ask, because here's the filter to use, is what I'm spending my time on, is it positive towards a marriage relationship or is it another distraction? And we need, all need to be careful. It is designed to pull you in and we all need to be careful because there's accidental um, images and we need to be careful where our point of focus is. Now, I know we all, we drive down the road and you see a billboard that grabs your attention, but where are you dwelling? And the same rule applies to social media. Where do you allow yourself to dwell? Now, another one you need to be aware of is there's so much negative information, there's so much division, and there's so much distrust that we need to be careful about something we call doom scrolling. And you can be into that and you're spending so much time you're doom scrolling because you're focusing, it's like a hypnotic state that you're focusing on all the negative and that actually is robbing emotions from the marriage because it's making you feel depressed and anxious and you feel spent. And then that's your point of focus as you enter into a relationship with your spouse. So. Let's find some other things to talk about. What did we talk about before there was so much social media, right? Hmm, we have to think about that. Find those things to talk about. Re-engage in simple things, even like going for a walk and not picking up your phone. Doing those types of things that bring you together. There's an important concept, it's called bonding. You need to ask the question, is my social media bonding me together? Or is it something that could be distracting from that healthy bonding.